bus station. We are having breakfast with dosa. It is 40 rupees per plate. And from here we will be going to Aho Bilam. There is no direct bus uh, towards it. So we will do a break journey. At first we will go to Allah Gardra. And from there we will go to Aho Bilam. From Nandeyal, Allagara is at a distance of 42 kilometers. From there, we changed the bus for Upper Ahobilam. It is in a remote place, so mobile network is not available out there. Upper Ahobilam bus stand is around 25 kilometers from Allagara. From the upper Ahobilam bus stand, auto rickshaw takes the pilgrims till the base of the trek path. Snacks and water can be bought from the eatery in the parking lot as nothing is available in the trek route. The first building in the parking lot offers free meal to the pilgrims. The temples over here are small and simple located in the lap of the hills. These Empire. ancient temples were renovated and expanded by the emperors of the Vijayanagar Empire. One such architectural design we can see in the Mandapam where we can see these protruded brackets which are unique to the Vijayanagar architecture. In the land of ancient temples, lush forests and divine energy, today we are embarking on an exhilarating trek to some of the temples of Upper Ahobalam dedicated to Lord Narasimha. The trek route passes from the side of the main temple in Upper Ahobalam. While coming back, we had gone inside this temple. From the upper Ahobilam bus stand, we took an auto till the Ahobilam temple. The actual trek starts from here. It's a very well maintained path with proper signs. Plenty of pilgrims are also there. So it is not compulsory to take a ride. You can go by your own. Ahobilam is a mystical land nestled in the Nallamala hills of Andhra Pradesh. This sacred place is dedicated to Lord Narasimha and avatar of Lord Vishnu. This is Varaha Narasimha Swami Temple, also called Krud Narasimha. From here, actually it is 1 o'clock now, from 1 to 2 the temples remain closed. Since it is closed, so from here we will go to the Jwala Narasimha Temple at first. While returning, we will come inside this temple. The natural beauty surrounding the temple is simply mesmerizing. The dense forests, rocky outcrops and tranquil environment make this place a perfect blend of adventure and spirituality. We crossed the Bhavnasini river. Now again we got a proper staircase and a proper path. Again, this stretch is a bit rough, but I can see the staircase again down below. Be very careful, huh? Uh. Zigzag way. We came from there. I can go on that. 
I'll climb to this side. Only ready. One, two, three. So this is the way. <laughs> we got the way back. Oh, some people are coming. Ugra na si ma. Mande na. Let's say. But bridge. Kaha milega bridge? Can you see the flag? That is Ugra Stambha. Uh, people trek to that point, but we will trek till the Jwala Narasimha temple. But yeah, thank God we got a glimpse of the Ugra Narasimha stump. As we move deeper into the forest, the sounds of nature surround us. The trail is steep and rocky, but the lush greenery and occasional sightings of wildlife make it an unforgettable experience. We have come till the bridge and the signboard is already there. This side is Malola Narasimha temple and to my left is the Jwala Narasimha temple. We will be visiting the Jwala Narasimha temple at first. Meeting fellow pilgrims is a humbling experience. Their stories of faith and devotion add a deeper layer to our journey. <laughs> हिरण्य कश्यू के साथ युद्ध किया था उसका साक्षी उसका जो गुरु है शुक्राचार्य वहाँ पे है तो वहाँ पे आगे आप चलेंगे तो वहाँ दर्शन होगा नरसिंह देव का यहाँ हम जा रहे हैं उग्र स्तम जहाँ से स्तम से निकले थे हमारे वो सब चौकट चौकट जो है वहाँ पे है आगे इस तरीके से जाएंगे इधर उग्र स्तम है यहाँ जाने के लिए रस्सी का इस्तेमाल करके जाना पड़ेगा The stake is starting from the bridge that we saw deep down. That way is quite arduous because the stairs are very steep. Uh, we are already very tired now. We saw the water falling from the rocks. People over here are saying that it is naturally fresh water. So we will taste it a bit and also wash the face. This journey is not just a test of physical endurance but also a spiritual awakening. If you seek adventure and divine connection, Ahubilam is the place to be. Now we are proceeding towards the Jwala Narasimha temple. We have already come very close to it. Tribal people. Tribal. 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 Hunting for a lot of people. Safety from animals. It's very nice. In this jungle, there is a tiger. Yes. It's a tiger. It's a tiger. What do you see in the jungle? It's a tiger. 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 Oh my god. Dogs bark at night. When the tigers come out of the forest, the dogs bark at night, and that is why they are making this arrows to protect themselves from the wild animals. We have finally reached the Jwala Narasimha temple. After tracking the rocks at Ugra Narasimha, the Lord Narasimha killed the demon king Hiranyakashyap at this place. Locals believe that the palace of Hiranyakashyap was over here, but everything has been destroyed now. We have 
have come down the stairs and have come near the bridge. From here, we will go to Malola Narasimha Mandir. We have come to the holy village of Ahobilam. This is the center of Narasimha worship. In total, there are nine temples. And if you want to cover all the nine temples in one day, then you must start the trekking at around five in the morning. It also becomes easier because under the scorching heat, it becomes very difficult to walk in the hilly terrain. In this land of Ahobilam lied the kingdom of Hiranyakashyap, which is home to nine forms of Lord Narasimha, of which six temples are located in Upper Ahobilam and three in Lower Ahobilam. Each temple has its own unique story associated with it. Ma means mother and Lola means beloved. Narasimha Dev dwells with his beloved wife Mata Lakshmi in the Malola Narasimha temple known for its serene atmosphere. From the Malola Narasimha temple now we are going to see the school of Prahlad. Ahobilam is not just a destination. It's an experience that connects you to the divinity and nature. Kahan se aaya itna dur? Sirvalla. Sirvalla. Wo kahan pe hai? Wo Karnul pass hai. Karnul ke paas acha. Ha, Nandiyala. Yahan first time aa rahe hai? Nahi, 5-6 baar aa gaya. 5-6 baar. Acha acha. Aapka naam kya hai? Arshad. Barish mein aata hai. Barish mein aata tha. Idhar se hi na? During the monsoon, the water flows from here to make a small waterfall. This is the place where Pralhad had studied. By the way, Pralhad is the ardent devotee of Lord Vishnu, who had taken the incarnation of Lord Narasimha to save Pralhad from the hands of his father Hiranyakashyap. Just behind the main temple of Upper Ahogalam, the, uh, the trek to Pava Narasimha starts from here. The trek is around 5 kilometers, so jeep is available from Lower Ahogalam. As the sun sets over Ahogalam, the serenity and spirituality of this place leave an everlasting impression. Near the bus stand of Lower Ahogalam lies the Prahlad Varada Narasimha Swami Temple where Lord Narasimha is believed to have blessed Prahlad. This temple, adorned with intricate carvings and sculptures, showcases the rich cultural heritage of Ahobilam. The main temple in Lower Ahobilam is situated very close to the bus stand. So before heading towards Allagara, we came here and made a quick darshan. <laughs> 